1.4 e. Simplify algebraic expressions, distribute and combine like terms. Remember in the order of operations or PEMDAS that it states that we must multiply before we do any addition or subtraction. Therefore, we will always distribute first and then combine like terms second. This is because the distribution step is a multiply and combining like terms is actually an add or subtract. This is important to remember in problems that involve more than one step. Example one shows that we have two distributions, but there is also many parts that have adds and subtracts. Remember that we must distribute or multiply before completing any adding and subtracting. As we look at this problem, we must first distribute in the first part. This means we do 5 times 2x. 5 times 2x is a 10x. Next, we do 5 times a positive 6y. This results in a positive 30y. Finally, we do 5 times a negative 2, which results in a negative 10. We then move on to the second portion, in which we distribute the negative 4 through. We have negative 4 times x. If there's no number in front of an x, we automatically assume that there is a 1 there. You may write a 1 in if you wish. Therefore, we are asking what is negative 4 times 1. It is a negative 4x. Remember, if this would have turned to a positive answer, we would have also had to write a plus here because there is something in front of it. Remember, you must always carry your positive signs down if there is things in front of the positive. Next, you have negative 4 times a positive 3, which results in a negative 12. Finally, you have negative 4 times a negative 6y, which results in a positive 24y. At this point, we have completed all of the multiplication, or in this case, distribution, and we may now move on to combining like terms or the adding and subtracting. It may be helpful to highlight or circle or label in some way common variables. I will highlight the x's all in yellow. Next, all of the y's are green. Remember to include their sign. Finally, the numbers are in blue. I will start by combining the x's, where I have 10x and negative 4x. I combine their numbers, giving me a 6x. Next, I have 30y and 24y. And when I combine them, I get a positive 54y. Finally, I have a negative 10 and a negative 12. Remember when the signs are the same, we add the two numbers together, giving us 22, and we keep their sign. As you can tell, each term has a different letter or variable, and therefore cannot be combined as they are not like terms. This means our answer is 6x plus 54y minus 22. In example two, we will look at another situation of distribution and combining like terms. The first distribution is the two, and two times four x is eight x squared. Two times negative six x becomes negative 12 x, and finally, 2 times a positive 1 is a positive 2. 
Next, we see a negative symbol. There is no number written after the negative symbol. If there is no number written, you can assume the number is a 1. If you would like, you may place that number there. The other way to look at this problem is that remember that a negative also means opposite, which means you can distribute the opposite through asking yourself each time, what is the opposite of positive x squared, which would be negative x squared. Next, what is the opposite of positive 5x, which would be negative 5x. And finally, what is the opposite of a positive 3, which would be a negative 3. We have now completed the distribution or multiplication portion and therefore can move on to combining like terms or adding and subtracting. Remember, it is helpful to highlight or label those that have similar variables and exponents. I've highlighted the x squareds in yellow, the x's in green, and finally the numbers in blue. I can now combine those that are like terms. If I have 8x and negative x squared, remember that there is always a 1 with the variable. 8 minus 1 is a 7x squared. Next, I combine the x's and I have a negative 12 and a negative 5. Remember, if you have same signs, you add the two numbers together, getting 17x, and you keep the sign. Finally, we have 2 and negative 3. Remember, if the signs are different, you subtract the two numbers, getting a 1, and you keep the sign of the larger number, giving you a negative. This is our answer, as these three terms do not have similar variables and exponents. Remember, when you have problems that involve distribution and combining like terms, to distribute first and then combine like terms because you need to multiply before adding or subtracting.